Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Got this Amazon switch panel. We're gonna break down how we integrate this into a pontoon stuff wiring harness. This is a little different, I think, than the last one I did, but I'm gonna show you how it works. I'll put a link for this switch panel in the description. First thing I'm gonna do before we even put it on the dash or run the harness is I need to swap out this first switch for a horn switch. So this is just an on off switch. Our horn is a momentary on and it has a nice little label there for the horn. If you look at the back of your switch panel, this is where people get intimidated. Don't worry about it. We have a power source coming in. So that's actually coming into the last switch. That's okay, that jumps across and powers everything else on the switch panel, including voltage gauge, USB, and a 12 volt charger. We're gonna switch it so that this last switch powers these, but we still have an incoming power and an incoming ground. Those will go directly into our wiring harness for our main power, main ground. Then all of our accessory powers will go onto these spade terminals here to get power out to our accessories. The spades on the back of this are the exact same. I think it's gotta be the same manufacturer. All the little dimples on here are the same too. So I'm just gonna pull off my power wires. You can always take a picture to remember where everything goes. And then I'll pull my ground wires off too. So these switches are just held in by little tabs. Kind of tricky, you gotta pinch and push at the same time. Sometimes I'll get just one side one side tilted out, and then I can work on the other side. When you loosen it, it's just gonna pop out, save it for later, throw it away. And then our horn is just gonna press right in. So those tabs, kind of spring action, will click in. We've got our horn. So now we just have to hook back up our power. So that red is gonna go onto the right terminal. And then the power jump goes over on this terminal. The grounds hook right back up where they were. Now we've got our switches where we want them, our horn. We'll get to wiring the harness in and show you how we do that in just a minute. Here's the trouble that I found with pretty much all of these Amazon switch panels is right out of the box, if you hook up the positive and the ground, everything powers on. Look at that, my battery's charged. So I don't want all these LEDs on and stuff when I just hook it up to my battery because then I'm just gonna drain everything down. That seems silly. So the next step is gonna be to wire so we supply power A away from those lights on the switches because I only need those switches to turn on, the light to turn on like that last one when I actually flip the switch. So I'm gonna get it so all the lights are off and then I'm gonna make it so I can select that final switch in the far right, and that will allow me to turn on my charging, my voltage gauge, and that'll also power up my stereo. The rest of the switches will be for nav lights, docking lights, and interior lights. So what we've got is a ground coming in, common ground that piggybacks along all my switches and my chargers, my voltage gauge, and I'll splice in a couple other things that are gonna get plugged in on switch posts here to that common ground. Then we have common power coming in. So this power is gonna jump all over the place on these uh, switches. This top post is what supplies power to the accessory. This bottom post is what's creating that light to stay on. So I'm gonna omit all of these. I can either just unhook them, uh, heat shrink them, cap them off, that's gonna be the simplest, easiest way because that leaves everything else hooked up and this is some pretty nice thick gauge wire. Otherwise, I would have to make a whole new backbone of piggybacks uh, to splice along here. The other thing I'm gonna do is this wire here, jumping over to our charger, voltage gauge, and USB is what's keeping everything on. So this one is keeping the little light on the bottom on. I don't want that anymore, that's gotta go. And then I can't have power constantly to these uh, chargers and the voltage gauge. Otherwise, it's slowly going to drain my battery down. Even though they're LEDs, it's still going to drain things down over time. So I'm going to snip this out. I'm going to actually wire in this last switch. The far right is going to be my charger, voltage gauge, 12 volt. And then that's also going to power on my stereo. So that'll be 
We'll stack a few things on there, but it'll get it all done. And that way, when I have to turn all my switches off, everything is indeed off. So I just did an extra layer of protection. I put a little shrink wrap on each of the wires that pulled off so that constant light is off. It was this right hand post. All of my accessories will now insert onto this post, which we'll do from the wiring harness from pontoonstuff.com. My next thing I need to do is gonna be to get rid of the connection from right here over to my chargers and my voltage gauge, because like I said, I'm gonna jump this post over to power all three of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and just snip that. We'll cap that off, make sure power can't jump. Uh, and then we will wire this post over into where I cut here to supply power. So just like that, I snipped this wire that was connected across to my voltage gauge and chargers, capped it with a butt splice, capped it with some heat shrink so nobody touches it. Uh, and then we joined this switch down here. I have a, a plug or a spade terminal there with a piggyback coming off of it because I am going to stack my stereo onto this. So that power runs across, powering now on a switch my chargers and my voltage gauge and then i've left room to piggyback my stereo on there my stereo ground will have to tie in i've stripped back this ground wire quite a bit so that i can splice in multiple grounds here for those other accessories like my stereo and my leds and then my power is going to come from my harness to this wire so something to keep in mind let's look at our pontoon stuff wiring harness yours may look a little bit different than this but the colored wires are going to be essentially the same they may not be uh, spiraled with uh, black or different shades of colors, but they're gonna look similar color-wise. So gray with black stripe is gonna be my docking or headlights. My orange with white is my horn. My gray with green is my navigation lights. My gray with blue is my stern light. This is an extra accessory wire here or a bilge pump or wash down pump or live well pump. And then I have a big thick uh, ground wire that's the black and then a big th thick power wire that's the red I could work off of this end uh, or if you're doing rewiring you know an old dash and you're just doing a new harness you could use this and probably splice right in however I'm gonna go ahead and just omit this I'm gonna hook that and we'll just throw that away and then that leaves me with this and I'm gonna actually go ahead and pull this electrical tape off and cut all these free that way I can put spade terminals on them so they can hook right up to the switches just like this. Here's what we ended up with sort of as a final product. So we have our main accessory harness coming. That's the pontoonstuff.com uh, rigging or electrical harness. We have a ground coming out of that and you'll see it's shared by quite a few different wires. Some of these wires go out to LEDs, uh, the rest really just tie straight into our piggybacked grounds. So keep in mind, there's a bigger ground that you're gonna have to wire in. That's gotta go in there. If you wire other accessories other than the wires that are in this bundle from the harness, those have to be tied into the ground like we did here. Your main power comes in. That's just direct spliced in from the harness and that piggybacks along the switches, which gives power to our accessories. So we did for the accessories is we have the horn so we have the orange and white wire going into that post that'll give us our horn we have the blue with gray or gray with blue rather and then the gray with green those are a nav light so what i do on this switch panel is i tie in the stern light the light that's on top of the bimini and our front navigation lights those are the green and the red those all tie in and they just are on or off all of them. So we don't have a toggle switch that can do anchor or we just tie them all in because it's a pontoon boat. Most of the time you're cruising at night anyway, you need to have them all on anyhow. So it's just on off. Then our docking lights, we have a gray with a black stripe. That is gonna be power for our docking lights. And these are our interior LEDs. And then again, we have power on this last switch for all of this stuff on top here, chargers and our voltage gauge. So that's how we tie in. Remember, these are just positives coming in from the main harness or the electrical harness from pontoonstuff.com because they all share this same 
big ground here. So they all share that ground. So all we have to do is hook up the positive on there because that ground is connected to the ground of the switch. And then, like I said, with these extra wires, these are the uh, LEDs for the front of the boat and then for the back of the boat. They're tied in. I connected their ground into the main ground where it comes in. This last little wire that's piggybacked on the last switch, that switch powers on the voltage gauge and the chargers, but that also will jump power across to our stereo. So the stereo ground is also tied in to this bundle of ground wires that are tied in here. That's the switch. That's how we make it work on the pontoonstuff.com harness and all the rest of the accessories and lights and stereo, all that good stuff from pontoonstuff.com. And so with power all hooked up, we have a horn, we have our navigation lights, we've got our docking lights, headlights, we've got our inside cabin lights, or our undersea LEDs, and then our accessory switch is gonna power up our voltage gauge, it's gonna power up our USB, that lights up, and that's also going to give power to our stereo. But that is our switch panel. That's how we use the pontoon stuff, the wiring harness, to make this nice little Amazon switch panel work. If you're trying to save money, you bought it off Amazon, it can work. It can power all of your items, and you're still going to love it, and it's still going to be simple.